In this presentation, I'm going to be discussing five reasons why self-compassion is something you should practice regularly. Oftentimes, you are your own worst critic, which can make treating yourself with kindness a bit of a challenge. However, studies show that practicing self-compassion is good for your mental health. If you frequently find yourself being overly critical, judging your thoughts and actions, or even blaming yourself for things outside of your control, you're definitely not alone. Negative self-chatter is a surprisingly common habit, but thankfully, there are ways you can fight it. Before we get into the reasons why practicing self-compassion is so important, let's talk about what self-compassion is. What is self-compassion? Having compassion for yourself is essentially no different than having compassion for others. Consider what it feels like to experience compassion. In a nutshell, it involves being moved by the suffering of others and allowing your heart to respond to their pain. Self-compassion works in the same way, except you're directing your compassion towards yourself. When you go through something difficult or notice something about yourself that you're not happy with, your initial instinct might be to judge yourself harshly. This is where self-compassion comes in. Instead of judging yourself or simply shoving your pain under the rug, you can practice self-compassion by saying, this is really difficult right now. Once you've acknowledged your pain, consider how you can comfort and care for yourself in that moment. Five reasons why you should practice self-compassion regularly. Now let's get into the reasons why self-compassion is something you should practice regularly. There's been a lot of research done on this topic in the past few years, and you might be surprised by how helpful practicing self-compassion regularly can be. One, encourages healthy habits. People who treat themselves with kindness every day are more likely to adopt positive habits, like exercising regularly, maintaining a nutritious diet, and scheduling regular checkups with their doctor. Having compassion for yourself will motivate you to take better care of yourself. In other words, you'll be able to make a more proactive approach when it comes to keeping your health in check. Two, it will strengthen your coping skills. Whether you're dealing with stressful challenges at work, managing chronic pain, or working through something traumatic, practicing self-compassion can be a great way to cope with these challenges more effectively. The ability to acknowledge your own struggles with kindness will help you notice your triggers, as well as build up your resilience. 3. It promotes responsibility. Practicing self-compassion regularly can help you be more self-aware and take responsibility for your actions. Those who have a self-compassionate mindset will generally have an easier time not dwelling on self-blame. Instead, they'll be able to focus on taking accountability for their actions and working on their personal growth. 4. It will improve your mental health. Regularly practicing self-compassion is also great for your mental health. People who treat themselves with kindness and understanding are less susceptible to the harmful effects of self-judgment and negative self-chatter. You'll be less stressed out, less anxious, and have the mindset you need to combat depression too. 5. It will improve your confidence. Practicing self-compassion will also make it easier for you to acknowledge and accept your failures. Sometimes, we're so afraid of failing that we don't even try, and naturally, this can keep us from potentially succeeding. By practicing self-compassion, you'll be building up a more positive self-view, which will improve your confidence and motivate you to face your fear of failure. I hope you've enjoyed this list and feel more inspired to practice self-compassion regularly. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.